Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I am your host, Keisha King, and I come to you live at 5 every Wednesday where we talk about discussions that matter, that are real and relevant. This week, no different. In the news this week, it has been an incredible contrast of emotions, as it usually is. There are times when I tell people, don't even turn on the news because some news is just there to make you so sad and at times confused and oftentimes angry. This week, I heard a tale of two churches. Now, the first church or group of churches were six churches that were burned to the ground in Louisiana by a young man whose father is a deputy sheriff. He is now in custody and Charges have been filed and they're looking into what shall be done. Nothing has been done for those churches, however, and that made me mad. Then there's the tale of another church, a very historic church, Notre Dame. It also burned, and we have over $600 million of contributions that have come in, and it is a national and international tragedy for the world. Hearing that news made me sad, but it also made me mad. It made me upset because I'm looking at the contrast and how often it happens that churches, especially African-American churches, are just burned to the ground without any sense of regard. Hearing the tale of those two stories of churches really bothered me, kind of stressed me out. On the contrary, there was something that was so uplifting that I could not hold back my smile. And that was the fifth Masters win by Tiger Woods. After 10 years, I think, of not making it, he did it again. And so many people and so many odds were against him. And I thought to myself, what does it take for a champion to come back against all odds? Well, it takes a lot, and everything that Tiger Woods has, he gave it his all, and he did it. <laughs> it brought me joy. It made me smile. I had a sense of pride. I watched all the posts that were on social media that were congratulatory of such an awesome feat. So this week, and it's only Wednesday, in the news, I've had moments of stress, anger, frustration and joy. I want to be able to balance my emotions, just like the rest of the world, and say it's okay because it will all eventually work out. I believe that. I know that. But every now and then I need an encouraging word or a boost. And so today we have two lovely guests with us who will share what they have been through. They have anxiety just like the rest of us. They have stress. And they have joy. They have things in their life that bring them encouragement and joy. And one thing that they have, they're going to talk to us about today called Happy Coffee. I hope you're ready because uh, this is not really that serious of a matter, but it is something that's going to help us with all of our serious matters. So on At the Crossroads today, I'd like to welcome both Camille and Beth. Hi. Aloha. Hello. Welcome. Thank you Thank so you. much for having <laughs> us. We're Thank excited. you. Thank you. Thank I can you. tell you're happy to be here. Now, I want to say we are all in sync with our outfits. <laughs> yes, we, we are. We did not plan this. We all have on blue and yellow in some form. I love your style. I love your color choices. <laughs> Thank you. I love yours, too. <laughs> Thank you. Great minds think alike. Yes, Absolutely. we do. Yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> now. I want to start with Camille. Camille is yeah. a wife, mother of four, yeah. a homeschooling parent. Hooray for that. <laughs> I was a homeschooler. Uh, she is also a believer and dealer of the happy dose. Yes. All right. Yeah. And then, Beth, you have two lovely girls? Three. Three. Three lovely girls. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You are also an educator and a happy coffee representative. That's right. Awesome. 
Well, I need to know, what is your story? I'll start with you, Camille, and then you, Beth. Tell me, you were battling with anxiety and yes. so forth. Please yes. share. Well, I'm 38. I know a woman isn't supposed to sh reveal her age, but, you know, I found myself last year at 37 um, in a very stressful situation with our house, a very small house. Uh -huh. My husband and I here in Hawaii on Kaneohe side, beautiful, tiny house. We have been under construction for about a year and a half, and um, my at the same time homeschooling all four of my children, and I was under a tremendous amount of stress. And I, my, I didn't know what was going on, but something was not right, and I was having um, just not enjoying life. I couldn't sleep at night. Um, I would uh, have a hard time falling asleep. I, I didn't want to wake up. I remember laying in bed sometimes, just thinking, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to face my day. And I've always been such a, a joy-filled person. Uh, I'm a woman of faith. Um, but I just found myself not being able to pull out of that. And it, it, wrecked, it was starting to ruin my marriage. We were having more fights, more, um, oh, daddy's sleeping on the couch again tonight, or, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, my children were definitely getting a brunt of the, the mommy wasn't herself. And I would snap at them easily. I would get frustrated. And I hated that. It was not good. It was not a healthy place for me to be at all. And I, doctors couldn't explain what was going on. I had my hormones tested. Everything seemed fine. But I knew something was wrong. So that's basically, that yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a lot. I don't yeah. think you're alone in battling yeah. with that. Yes. Yeah. Beth, would you care to also share in your story? Well. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. You've, <laughs> you've obviously had certain stressors yes, in yes. your life. Yes. I'm well, sure. raising three girls, that's always a stress for everyday life and yes. just everything that comes by. Yeah. Yeah. We all have stress every day. As I said in my opening remarks, you turn on the news nowadays mm -hmm. and you face, oh, you just name it, mm -hmm. hell and high water sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's really tough. It and so. I can imagine that having to go through a major construction project mm -hmm. in your home while you're trying to actively live there. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was <laughs> With crazy. With the children. It's been crazy. <laughs> yes, and and then you're home all day yes. because you're homeschooling. Yeah. So that can be challenging yeah. for anyone. And then Beth raising three children primarily as, as a single, single parent. parent. Yes. Challenge. Yes. Challenge. Yeah. yeah. And so battling with that you mentioned things that alluded to anxiety. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yes, there was, there was, I wasn't familiar with anxiety. My mother suffers from anxiety. Well, she doesn't anymore, praise the Lord, because of this wonderful product, but um, she suffered from it for years. And I, I didn't know what that was until I realized it was an underlying pressure that just felt like it was gonna explode at any moment and it could take one little thing to just burst it out. And I, would, I couldn't think clearly. I, uh, my heart rate would race, I'd, you know, high blood pressure. It, it just really, and I was gaining weight. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I couldn't lose weight for the life of me. And yeah, I just didn't, I was depressed. I, yeah. I didn't want to hike. I didn't want to go swimming. I didn't want to interact with my friends like mm -hmm. I normally would. And I'm mm -hmm. such a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. So for me being in that situation, I knew, whoa, I've gotten really far off track here. And you know, those are all the symptoms of anxiety and mm -hmm. depression. And mm -hmm. the two go together hand in mm -hmm. hand. They if you absolutely. have anxiety, you, it's likely to lead you to depression, mm -hmm. right? And so, and so for those who don't know, let's repeat that. You weren't, uh, you weren't desirous of being with your friends. Yeah. You weren't willing to be social. Yeah. You didn't want to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to care for the children in the same way. Yeah. And you were snapping at the kids. Yeah. That reminds me of a book I read years ago. It was called Watch Out, Mom's Gonna Blow. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and it talked oh, about a mother's chronicles mm -hmm. of going through anxiousness and mm -hmm. anxiety as a whole. Mm -hmm. And she would just blow her top off of yeah. the, seemingly the smallest, yeah, yeah the That's smallest it. of issues. Yeah. And then it interferes with your marriage. Yes. Yeah, well, because I was so on edge, and then I'd be so irritable. My poor husband would come home and I'd say, I, why are we living like this? You know, what, what are we doing? Why are we, you know, it, it just, it was terrible. I just didn't want to live in my life. It was like, I, I just didn't want to be in my own world anymore. And that was so yeah. odd. 
mm -hmm. of course, he's, he's such a patient man. He's so loving and was so, you know, he never, he never, we had our issues, but he would always, he was always the one to resolve it before I would. <laughs> but it, yeah, it just, you know, it, it, it's not like we ever, we're going to talk about divorce or anything, but it, it strained the marriage. So we would argue, the kids would see mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't a fun, you know, we just, you know, now it's like, oh, you know, I've, I've got my old, my old man back and he's yeah. got me back. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's a totally different story now. Well, good, yes. because that's the nature of life. You yes. go through challenges. Yes. And the goal is to make it through the challenge, not yeah. to suffer in those mm -hmm. moments, right? Yeah. And to stay there. Yeah. And I think that's the idea of being at a crossroads. You have these unique challenges that you face, but mm -hmm. that's the goal. You need to face them and overcome them. And so I think mm -hmm. part of what we do here at the crossroads is we help people recognize when they are at a crossroads so that they can find their way through it and embrace where they are. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's not all bad. No. Yeah, right? absolutely. Because I think when you are faced with conflict, you are then challenged to discover ways to communicate more effectively. Mm -hmm. And you are challenged to discover things that can help you. Because sometimes depression leads to a chemical imbalance in the brain. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, you need something to counteract that. Right to bring your level to make your levels level, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to bring that balance and to correct the imbalance, you found a product that would work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So now I need to hear about that story. <laughs> okay. Because mm -hmm. yeah, what, where good. we are now is there's turmoil. Yeah. There's challenges in the marriage. There's challenges with construction. Mm -hmm. There are challenges raising three or four children yeah. in the home, and homeschooling. Yeah. Because with homeschooling, you're home all day. With your own kids. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. whole day. Yeah, I know. It's, God called me to it. Otherwise, I couldn't do it. This, that's His okay. grace covers me. <laughs> there you go. And that's what you want to have. You yeah. want to have a covering yes. of protection yes. and mm -hmm. grace yes. that will help sustain mm -hmm. you. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Well, yeah. good for you. Yeah. So, something happened to you in January. Yes. Of this year. Yeah. Yes. So, what was that? So a, a friend reached out to me who I've known for years, and she said, I, you've got to hear about this thing that's changed my life. And she's got a great story that you can hear someday, but she's a, ha, gone through um, as a caregiver for 10 years and okay. had post-traumatic stress syndrome for that. And she said, you've got to try this happy coffee. And I thought, what? I drink coffee two, three cups a day. What is so different about this coffee? And so she ended up sending me six days worth, and I tried it. My husband and I actually did it together. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Okay, wait. So let's stop right here. We're looking at the screen and yes. it says, what if a cup of coffee a day could burn fat, eliminate, or elevate, elevate mood, mm -hmm. increase energy, reduce appetite, enhance memory, increase mental clarity, anti-stress and anxiety effects, provide powerful antioxidants and control sugar and carb cravings. Give me some of that. <laughs> Amen. Give me, I want that. What's, because now, really, that's a tall order for a cup of coffee. Yes. What's in this stuff? I mean, my mother had her own version of happy yeah. coffee, but I don't think it was what you were talking yeah. about. No, it is a botanically infused instant coffee, mm -hmm. and it's all natural with no chemicals. I actually had, a, I ran into, um, my pastor Norman Nakanishi uh, at uh, at the coffee shop the other day because I was I was actually in there just to get some food for my kids and he said this can't be legal. I know. <laughs> no, it is. That's what I said. It's, it's all natural. So um, that so there's no chemicals, all botanically based. And basically, what happens? It's a nutritional supplement that is infused to the coffee, and it will um, really help your body release its own dopamine, oxytocin serotonin, and endorphins. And those are all your happy hormones. Exactly. So when you get those to the point where they need to be, we're all deficient in it because of the stress mm -hmm. in our environment, our diets, the things that we eat. Mm -hmm. And so when it's low, that's when we start getting into those negative things. So mm -hmm. when, you get, when your body is able to um, produce more of your own happy hormones, all, you just feel good. You, you get all those benefits. Okay. And it does what your body needs to do. So some people lose weight. Um, but not everyone does if your body okay. doesn't need to release weight. Because my friend Julie, who told me about the products, 
she, she didn't lose weight, but it seemed like her body started to turn more of her, like, the, um, her muscle. She started getting more muscle mass, which okay. is great at 60 years old. 60? So, yeah, she's 60 years old. I don't know if she Usually, wants to share them. <laughs> well, sorry, she just told no, me. No, she will. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll be fine with that. Okay, but because at 60, you know, you, you lose muscle mass yeah. sometimes in yeah. tone, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good for her. Yeah. That's good for Julie. Yeah. And you've had your own experience yes. with it. So we're going to yeah. talk about that. We're going yeah. to take a break. Okay. And we're going to talk about your personal experience with Happy Coffee. So you've been listening to Camille and Beth and I as we talk about a product that she calls Happy Coffee. People, it's totally legal. I would not get on here and tell you <laughs> about something that's not legal. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't take it, okay? And I wouldn't suggest you. But Happy Coffee is legal. It's all natural. We're going to find out more about her experiences with it. And then we're going to tell you how you can find some Happy Coffee and help reduce the stress and anxiety. And the list goes on and on. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. And after that, we'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. All right, so welcome back to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Tisha King, and today we're talking with Camille and Beth about their favorite new product, Happy Coffee. So, Beth, I'm sorry, Camille, <laughs> we're going to take a look at pictures of your family, yes. and you can show just that picture of Beth's uh, and Camille's family. So, these are go. your beautiful children. There's your husband. Oh, how old are the, your children? Let's see. Okay, Olivia is 12, Noah's 11, okay. Eve is 8, and Kate is 6. Okay, yeah. beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. And Beth, your family? Yes, so these are my girls. Mm -hmm. so I got one graduating this year, Shahiza, she's 17, and then a 13, Aliyah, and a fourth grader, Ashika. Beautiful. I yes. love their names, I love your pictures. Yes. Great family. So now, back to this coffee. <laughs> As I said, this is something that is totally legal, but it's all natural. Yeah. I yes. love that. Yeah, it's wonderful. That. So my experience with it um, is I, I tried it, and the first thing I felt was my mind just felt clear. You know, it just felt focused. And it was actually the first day I had it was my birthday, January okay. 5th which okay. was awesome. So great way to start the year. That's right. And I, that was the first thing I noticed. Um, the next thing that I noticed is I just felt happy, I, mm -hmm. I, which sounds funny, but I did. I just felt happy, content. I had joy in my life that I hadn't felt. Which and are some of the um, things we're looking at yes. on the screen now. Elevates yep. mood. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know yeah. about a, a few products or Two things to elevate your mood, yeah. and this does that. Mm -hmm. It blocks sugar and carb cravings. Absolutely. You, so yes. that's like an appetite. I do not. E yeah, I do not ever crave sugar. I actually will look at a cookie and I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. I just don't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't because it, you, you're already satisfied, right? Your mm -hmm. your brain's already saying, I'm, I'm good. I've got my happy hormones. So you don't crave comfort food. So mm -hmm. I don't crave chips. I don't crave sugar. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I noticed was that I ate half of the amount of food. And, you know, I, we, for my birthday, we went and had Thai food. We ordered the same amount we always order, and we only ate half of it because my wow. husband was on it at the same time I was. And wow. we thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And the other thing about it is because I'm not craving the sugar and stuff, 
I crave healthier food. I want the leafy greens. I want protein. I, I find myself looking in the fridge like, ooh, where's an apple? Or, and I love mm. that because it's, usually it's kind of a battle to pick the healthier food, you know? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So show us these products. Oh, show sure. Us what it is. So what it is is we have um, the Elevate is the Smart Coffee. Okay. Or what I call happy coffee because that's basically what it is. It makes you happy. And it, um, it's in the dose form. So you take a happy capsule, one mm -hmm. happy capsule a day, and one cup of coffee. And you just it's a scoop of instant coffee. and just scoop it into um, your cup, stir it up. And the, uh, the benefits of the Xanthomax, it's turmeric and xanthohumol, mm -hmm. which is from the hot star. But if you show, there's a slide that, there we go, xanthomax. This is all the stuff that, do, that this little happy capsule does. It's like a super vitamin. Okay. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. And all so right. you put the Elevate coffee together with the xanthomax, and it makes the happy coffee. Gotcha. Um, we also have the, for athletes, um, we have the nitric oxide. Okay. And this is a, a they added a, another botanical blend that actually helps your body produce your body's own nitric oxide. And if anybody knows anything about nitric oxide, something our body already produces, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Here's the benefits to this. So it helps your cardiovascular system. So it opens up the, the blood vessels. It helps okay. oxygenate your blood. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does amazing things. So it boosts your immune system. It's fantastic. And if you're an athlete, it helps increase your, you can go harder, faster, longer. M muscle recovery is phenomenal. I couldn't believe it. After a hard, hard workout of CrossFit, I did mm -hmm. the Murph challenge with my workout group. The next day, I should have had sore legs. I did right. not. And I was blown away by the fact that I just had my nitric co oxide coffee. And it was just amazing. So athletes got to get into this stuff because they just, you just, I swam today and I, I felt like I could swim for hours. I called wow. my husband. I said, honey, I just felt like I could just swim and swim and swim and swim. <laughs> and it was great. So. Good for you. So now, Beth, have you began taking any of the products at this time? Yes. I've actually only tried it a couple of days. Um, and so far, I've been feeling like I have a lot more energy. And I just feel like I'm just at a constant calmness with the girls. And in my work environment, I feel like... I can have patience with everybody, okay, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> yeah. So, but one thing I did want to say is that I have my friend on this, and I wanted to see how he would like it and react. He said he's only been on this product for a week and a half, and he has really bad eczema and always had to go to the doctor for mm. cortisone shots. So I said, turmeric, that's the number one thing that's going to heal him. Yeah. I gave it to my friend. He tried it, and he's like, oh, my goodness, within a couple of days, his ex eczema just went away. Wow. So I really believe in these products. Like, yeah, the Xanthomax is it. Wow. It's good. It's good. And every day I see him get more energy and even the students where he's at. Wow. Like, That's Ooh. amazing. Yeah. I'm glad for both of you that you're having such excellent results. Yeah. Yes. Now you have other pictures that you'd like to show. Yeah, Let's bring real those quick. Other yeah. Up. And I did want to talk about the patients too while we show the next slide. So it's the. The other, the last um, thing we have is a chocolate version. Okay. So for anyone who can't have caffeine, doesn't like coffee, we have a happy hot chocolate. And this is great for um, uh, the same benefits, it's got all the same benefits, and you can take it in the dose form with the, the capsules as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we've noticed uh, children, actually, because it doesn't have the caffeine, can, they can focus at school if they're having, you know, focus issues. Okay. But I wanted to say another huge thing about this product for me, like she said, is the patience. It increased my patience to a, no, a whole not. I mean, I, I start getting choked up about it because it saved me as a mom. Mm. I was so impatient. And now I just, stuff rolls off my back. Mm -hmm. And I don't, it doesn't bother. They can fight in the car. And uh -huh. I don't snap. Uh -huh. I just, you know, they're kids. Right. And I finally feel like I'm, I'm free from that horrible weight of not being the best mom I could be. That's so, so it's awesome. changed my life for that alone. And then I've lost 10 pounds. Congratulations. And my husband's lost 16 pounds. And I think, oh, we'll show that. The, um, yeah, let's take a look at the pictures now. Yeah, we'll do the pictures. Um, so okay. here's some, we'll show some before and after pictures. And most of it's weight loss. Like I said, not, it's not a weight loss coffee. So mm -hmm. I don't want people thinking that. But go ahead to the next slide. This is me. That was me in December of 2018, and that's me in March. And that was me on the coffee for two months. Oh, and wow. And, yeah, I just, well, yeah, well, like, what, what, January? January to March, so, yeah. yeah yep, so two months. 
Um, wow. Yeah, so that's that's been great. And then the next slide, let's see, that's my husband. That okay. was on our trip this January before we actually, before he started full-time on the coffee, because we've actually been on it full-time since January 25th, even though we tried it in my birthday. Okay. Um, and that's him now. Okay. He's lost 16 pounds and inches, and he's just looking like a hottie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next slide. What else did I have? Oh, this is my friend Ashley from Louisiana, all the way from Louisiana, and she just loves this coffee. She's lost a bunch of weight, and not only that, she just feels, she struggled for years with depression and anxiety, mm -hmm. and just wanting to kind of hide in mm -hmm. life. And now she's out and loves life, and she's, Good. yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. And what's the next slide? And the next slide is, this is uh, oh. Justin, not okay. my husband Justin, but uh, Justin. Justin, yep, he actually okay. lives outside of my old hometown in Washington State, okay. and he's lost weight, and okay. him and his wife, it, they said it really helped their marriage because okay. um, they've been married a long time. And, <laughs> and what's the next slide? This is and so then, good. Yes, and then this is, the, this is how you can get in touch with us. So um, you can contact myself. So that's my cell phone. You can text or call, send me an email. You can find me on Facebook at teamkakua.com or uh, Team Kakua Coffee or on Instagram, hashtag Kakua coffee and um, anyone who reaches out and says that they saw us on the show today uh -huh, uh -huh. you guys will get put in a prize drawing so if you if you any of the ways you can reach us um, reach out to us and tell us you saw us on the show today and you'll be put in a drawing to win your own free either the coffee dose or the chocolate dose so what if you, you want to win <laughs> Go ahead and put your email me, contact me, call me, whatever you want to do. That's so awesome. And we'll do the drawing Saturday. So. Drawing on Saturday. I'll announce it so on my Facebook page. So. If you want to win free coffee, free happy coffee, not just any coffee, but happy coffee, then you must contact Camille and, and or Beth, and they will tell you all about that. Now, I love, love, love what she is saying this coffee mm -hmm. does. I didn't have the opportunity to taste test it. You guys heard me a few weeks ago where I said I would start a new diet with uh, another guest of ours who was on the show. And so I needed to stick to a certain um, intake level. But I have to let you guys know, uh, I also have battled with a lot of stress due to work and personal life, you name it. We have stress all over the world in our lives, in our daily walk. What I found to be most successful for me and just Anybody else is diet, exercise, my personal faith. I do not always try the newest things that come out because there's so many different new things. I have three people right now who want me to sign up for their travel club, two people who want me to sign up for their diet uh, enhancements. So I can't try everything. I would say you try it. See if it works for you. And if you like it, come and tell me about it. Maybe you'll come up and talk to me about it on the show. I love hearing success stories like Beth and Camille. Mm -hmm. um, but as we started our show, I talked about anxiety and depression and frustration with watching the news. I talked about the disparities between what's happening in Notre Dame versus what's happening at the six burned down churches in Louisiana. My frustration is real and it's a lot like so many others, but I don't wallow in that. We can't afford to. There is much work to be done. And so I encourage you, each and every individual, to do what you can to help and to support those who are in need in any way. And so I thank Beth and Camille for coming on today, for sharing what they know as happy coffee that helps them and so many others. Mm -hmm. I wanna encourage you to continue with a healthy diet plan and exercise. I do Zumba almost every single day, and that helps me. It creates all the happy endorphins that I need, that I can handle. For those who know me, when I'm really up, I'm really up. Mornings are my favorite. I encourage you, just do something. Don't become stagnant. Don't lie or wallow in your frustration. We can all make a difference, no matter how great or small, whether it's with coffee or $600 million to fix Notre Dame. Whatever it is, do your part. Stay encouraged. And come back here every week, live at five, where we will talk about what's holding you at the crossroads. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing you next week. Remember, I'm your host, Keisha King. Aloha.